hey everyone welcome back to another video on my channel today I'm gonna show you a quick refill and this Fendi nail design so let's jump into it I've already debulked my nails so I'm going in with this cuticle bit around my cuticle area to remove any pterygium built up around my cuticle area. This is the first step in prepping my nails for a rebalance. Next, with my cuticle nipper, I begin to trim any extra dead skin that may get in the way of my application of the acrylic. And to complete my cuticle prep, I use this ball bit which I got on Ocean Nail Supply to neaten up my side walls and my cuticle area. You can click the card above if you would like to see an in-depth video on how I do my nail prep. And then with a fine sand band, I go over the surface of my nail gently on the lowest speed of my electric file to remove the shine from my natural nail plate. And here I'm just using a scrub brush and some isopropyl alcohol to remove the dust or any oils that are on my nails. You know the drill with my primer, Young Nails Protein Bond, one coat to all the nails and the second coat right before I apply my acrylic. Alpha Brushes was kind enough to send me some brushes to try so today I'm using their number 10 Oval Kolinsky. New brushes come with a protective coating on the bristles so to remove this I soak my brush in monomer and I gently press down in the monomer on each side of the brush. Um, the monomer softens the coating so that I can wipe away the softened coating on a napkin before I use the brushes. I don't use brush cleaners to clean my brush. I find that the, over time they tend to damage the bristles. So I really only ever use a monomer on my Kolinsky brushes. I pick up a small bead of my Tammy Taylor P3 acrylic and I apply that as close as possible to my cuticle area without touching. I immediately start to blend that bead downward towards the tip of my nail. And then I go in with the tip of my brush and I carve out my cuticle area and my side walls if need be. So if you are new to acrylic enhancements and may have wondered what is the difference between a refill and a rebalance. Well a refill is when you fill in that space between your cuticle area and the acrylic enhancement after the nail has grown out which is what I just demonstrated on my thumb. And a rebalance which is what I'm doing on my index finger currently is simply creating structure on the nail building back up the nail with the acrylic and basically rebalancing the apex with the cuticle area and the free edge 
this is most commonly done when you have debulked the nail or removed a quote unquote not polish acrylic design from the nail the nail would have been thinned out with your carbide bit and you would now be required to rebalance that nail with acrylic Here you can see I'm refilling this middle finger so I apply a cuticle bead and I blend that bead downward towards my free edge and I clean up my cuticle area with the tip of my brush. So on my ring finger I'm rebalancing this nail so I apply my first bead in the middle of the nail and then I begin to blend and work that bead downward towards the tip of the nail. Then I'm going to go in at my cuticle area with a smaller bead and blend that bead over the first bead. And then I'm going to reinforce the tip of my nail with a small bead of acrylic and blend that bead backward towards the middle of the nail. I went ahead and I buffed and filed my nails off camera and I'm back with the design. So for this design I'll be using Koffer Nails which is a charcoal grey. I'll be using pitch black and I'll be using my artist gel in red. And I'll also be using lily white and of course my velvet matte and no wipe top coat. On my thumb I apply two coats of the red gel with a gel brush on my index and my middle finger i apply two coats of coffin nails and on my ring finger I apply two coats of my lily white and i cure each coat under my led lamp for 60 seconds i apply my coats as thin and even as possible if you notice when i'm applying my white on my ring finger you would see that the brush is almost empty it's not loaded with product at all because these gels are really really pigmented and also i will be layering designs on these nails so i don't want them to look bulky in the end I apply my velvet mat to my middle finger and I cure this under my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with the red on my Winstonia art brush. I will leave a link in the description box below for this item because it is one of my or is my favorite art brush. I've tried a bunch of brushes and I always come back to this. Mine is a bit battered so I really need to get a new set. So I'm just creating a elongated heart following the shape of the nail and I will fill in the outline with the gel brush that I used on my thumb and I'm just going to apply two coats of the red 
on this hat to make sure it's really pigmented on top of that really dark gray. Once I'm satisfied with the shape of the heart, I'm going to carefully apply my no wipe top coat to the heart alone and I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. I begin painting the word Fendi with my Lily White gel polish and I usually google images or go on the brand's website for inspiration and I'll throw up a picture of the font that I've chosen which is the Fila font and I just take my time and I use the tip of my brush and I slowly and carefully try to replicate the font keep in mind the Fila font has rounded edges so I try as best as possible to use just the tip of my brush to carefully balloon those edges Once I'm pleased with the outcome, before I cure it, I scoop some white acrylic powder over the Fendi and then I cure it under my LED lamp. Once it has cured, I use my scrub brush and some isopropyl alcohol to scrub away the excess acrylic powder from on the nail. I'm now going to begin creating that infamous checkered design with the Fendi logo on my index finger and I took inspiration for this design from this Fendi tote that I found on their website. So the Fendi logo really is just a letter F and right next to it there's another F that's flipped and reversed. So there is a trick to getting this as neat as possible so if you have tried this before 
and you probably were not guessing it as neat as you would have liked I have a trick and I will show you later on but first we need to focus on getting one row of the Fendi logo completed as neat as we possibly can So at first it looks like I've created a square and it's just jointed at the top right hand corner and the bottom left hand corner and once I'm satisfied with the symmetry of this then I go in to finish off the F's. So now I'm going to repeat the logo on either side of the first logo that I've created. So think of it like gift paper. When you cut the gift paper, you cut into the design so it looks as if, you know, the design is falling off of the nail. Don't try to get the logo to fit into that little corner of your nail or the, the cuticle area. So just try to duplicate the logo as best as you can using the space that you have allowing the logo to appear as if it's falling off of your nail or you you know it's like a decal that you cut and stick onto your nail once you have completed your first row of Fendi logos you can go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds under your LED lamp Once the first row has cured, I go in and I begin doing the second row and I cure in between each row so that I don't actually mess up the work that I had previously done. So here's the trick to this design. After I've cured two rows at a time or so, I use the base color and I go in and begin creating stripes in between the rows and the columns of the logo. So what this does is not only does it make your logos look as neat and as clean as they can, it also brings back symmetry to the grid of logos by creating an even space in between each logo um, in the row and as well as the column, so vertically as well as horizontally. And once you have done this on the entire surface of the nail and you've put your top coat on and cured it, the lines that you've created, the stripes that you've created melts into the design so it would not even look as though you really drew stripes in between your logos. It looks, the end result looks as though you've perfectly painted on the Fendi logos to your enhancements. On my ring finger, I started painting uh, just a random geometric pattern using the three colors, the red, the, the pitch black, as well as the coffin nails. I just kept in mind that I wanted to put a larger version of the Fendi in the middle of the nail, so I just kept that area free.
and as mentioned in the middle of this nail i'm now gonna be painting on the fendi logo and once i am satisfied with what it looks like i'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds under my led lamp and then i'll go in with my white gel polish and clean up the lines a bit so it looks really crisp and clean And finally, to complete the look, I encrust my baby finger in Swarovski crystals. I use ABs and opals in SS5 and SS7. I have a haul video coming up and in that video I'm going to show you the products that I use to adhere my crystals. I will also do an updated video for you soon on how I adhere my Swarovski crystals. And here we have the completed design. If you've made it to the end of this video, thanks so much. I know it's been another long one, but I'm trying to pack my videos with tons of tips, tricks, foundation, as well as design. I'll try to stick in some short ones here and there for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I upload as I don't really have a fixed schedule. You can also come and join me on Insta where I post daily and I'm a bit more interactive over there. But until next time, be safe guys. Bye.